for the sign of Virgo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past present challenge and outcome in love for the sign of Virgo. So in the recent past we have the seven of wands. Now with the seven of wands if you were already in a committed relationship, you didn't hesitate to speak your mind to your loved one. Now, this would have only improved your relationship as long as you were simultaneously considerate of the way in which you spoke your mind. So if you were single at that time, this card can indicate that you were about to meet someone new away from your usual search. So you made sure to try something new. Now, this card is paired with the Four of Swords. So with the Four of Swords, if you were in a romantic relationship, you could have been, you could have been feeling a bit disconnected. You knew that it was important to let your partner know what was going in what was going on inside of your head. But you remembered that your feelings they were your own and it wasn't necessarily your partner's job to try to make you feel great all the time. Now it may have been that you simply needed some time apart. You didn't hesitate to take it. If you were looking for love at that time, you could have known that that time was not the time to push. Also, you'd be better off or you were better off getting very specific about exactly what you were looking for in a relationship. You knew that the time would come when you would meet someone and you probably knew that that time was not then. Now that was the past, so we move on to the star card, which is the present. Now when the star card appears, it's a great time to meet someone new if you're in the market for a new relationship. So although it's not impossible, that love may simply knock at your door but it's more wise and it's more smart to get out there and mix and mingle now a new relationship could happen at any time so don't turn down any invitations also if you're already in love and committed then your relationship could be ready to move to a brand new level. The level could be one that is not only higher, but is more fulfilling. So make the most of this opportunity and build on it. And this card is paired with the Three of Wands. Now, if you take a good look at this picture, the Three of Wands, it's showing that your romantic relationships are more than likely to be going very well, but only if your partner is willing to treat you as an equal. Now, if they are not, it may be time to move on. After you've made your complaints and position clear, if you have recently met someone new, know that you are held in a very high regard by this new person. Now, if you're in the market for love, but feel as though you don't have enough or, or feel as though you don't have any prospects, you're probably currently spending too much time and effort on your career or either indoors. So think about allowing more time for your personal life. And with these two cards paired together, the star card 
is basically letting you know that it's a great time to meet someone new. Because love may simply knock at your door. And that you should get out there and mix and mingle because it's paired with the three of wands. It's letting you know that if the love that you're in is not working out, that the, the three of wands is a great time to meet someone new also. So these are really two good cards. If you're in a relationship and it's not working out, it's a great time to find new love. And th then if you're already in a relationship and it's working out, then it's a great time for that too. Two good cards for love and romance. And that's your present. Now we move on to the challenge. Okay, the page of wands. Now, the page of wands, messages of love and affection are likely to be coming your way. If you are single, a new suitor with whom you have a lot in common with and who is also very adventuresome. That type of person may be about to burst into your life or come into your life. What you need to do is take a chance on them, but only if you are willing and able and available. If you're already in a committed and not happy or in a committed relationship that you're not happy with, now is the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved and how long you'll try to make it happen. Just remember that both parties have to be willing to work in a relationship. If your partner isn't, it might be time to move on. And then we have this card paired with the High Priestess. Now this is a magical, mystical time for love for anyone interested. If you're a woman, you may well find people actually throwing themselves at you. People are finding you real attractive at this time. Now the problem is, is that you will attract both good and bad. And it's not always easy to tell which is which. So right now you're going to have the power of femininity or masculinity if you're a male. It's going to be at your disposal at this time. And at first glance that might seem great. With these two cards paired together, the Page of Wands is letting you know that if you're in a relationship already and it's not working out, you may need to move on or either messages of love and affection could be coming your way because it's paired with the High Priestess. A lot of people are finding you very attractive now. And you might have a hard time handling that. And that's going to be your challenge. And now we move on to the outcome with the Magician card. With the Magician card, if you are in the market for new romance, this is a great time when you're more than likely to meet someone new. Right now, someone out there Someone is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Now keep in mind, whether they find you or not will depend on you. Don't sit at home expecting Mr. or Mrs. Wright to walk up to your door and knock at it. Because that probably will not happen. What you need to do is be out there making yourself available to, to be found. And this is an excellent time to do that. So get out there and meet people. This card is paired with a full card. Now, this can indicate that you're not ready for a commitment, at least not yet. 
Even though others may be pressing you for one right now, it's not the time. There is nothing wrong with having fun, and indeed, this card is a positive. It's a it's a positive card for your love life. It's about lots of fun to be in the offing and that is what you want right now in an existing relationship. If on the other hand you are looking for a new relationship and hopefully love then make sure you don't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing should it come your way. So when you're wrapped up in having fun, it can easily be overlooked to the possibilities in a new relationship. The true love or true love is not always instant. So you need to make sure you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. And with these two cards paired together, the Magician card is letting you know that now is a great time to meet someone new, but you must get out there. This person will not knock at your door, and it's paired with a Fool card, and which is letting you know that true love is not always instant. So you need to make sure you're aware of that because it could be creeping up on you. And that's your outcome. So Virgo, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching.